Hey everyone, welcome back to more of a big hunk of Hyrule. So finally we got a blue ring. Makes me feel a little bit safer. And I also got the red candle, so now we can actually do a little bit more scouting in this place. Uh, I want to start looking around for stuff. Okay, um, let's see, this is just a shortcut which you need the ladder for. And again, red candle, very nice because there are no limits on candle use. And that's just money. Just try to leave one enemy on the screen. Might make your life a little easier. And no, we don't need to buy any of that stuff. It's kind of hard to use the, the blue candle in because there's a lot of stuff to try to burn. Now, I think most of these give you money, so in case you need extra cash. Okay, this one's the heart container we already found. Again, if, if there's anything given, um, there shouldn't be another secret, you know, hidden around the place, and you already have this. And a convenient fairy fountain there for you. is a shortcut, actually. Now you can take this back up and it pretty much takes you right back to the beginning. So it gives you a nice quick way back down if you're starting back from the actual starting point. hats there by just switching her from blue octorox. Now you may notice, uh, it may be kind of hard to see that one, but you saw that blue octorox spawned in a, kind of in the wall. So if you actually search around this corner, you actually find a fake wall, and you can actually go up this passage. And I believe that's 100 rupees, so that would actually overflow the wallet. And there are, remember, there are no wallet upgrades in this, in this quest, so... Now, I'm not sure if I should pick up this one. I know if I get, you know, I can pick this up and I have a red potion. Um, I might actually spare that for later since it's free. I don't mind paying for it later on because I don't have anything else I'm doing with my money. I'm like, I'm literally full on cash right now. Okay, this hint's referring to the screen with that heart. Heart-shaped, uh, you know, this one right here. So, uh, that's the easy heart container to find there. Yeah, quite a 
them are secrets here. I don't even know if you need half of them, honestly. that we don't need to buy anything from. Okay, so this one... Um, I think this is not anything worth money. Oh, troll. Should probably just spell trolled with numbers on it. You only got one rupee, so got trolled on that one. Like insert the infamous NCS scream from the Wind Waker. I gotta find that one. I gotta watch that again because it's, I know it's been like swapped into so many other forms. Infamous Green Rupee scream. You mentioned those like you know, whiz robes or blue lionels you have to battle to get that. Do it all that and get one rupee out of it. Cursing coming out. Alright, uh, this screen, um, let's see. Something on the side. Yeah, another potion shop, and we still have no letter. We aren't gonna get for a while, unfortunately. Okay, so this is uh, the maze path. So, you know, make sure you get the hint. You know, south twice and east twice. Get you into the graveyard area. And this isn't really anything useful. No, I don't think there's anything on this screen. Sure you found the red candle from level four. So you're gonna otherwise you'd be going on and off the screen quite a bit to try to find out which one of these bushes you have to burn. So 
So once you find the right one, you find some more meat. I'm trying to figure out, I think you need it for the next level, actually. So make sure you find that. It's pretty obvious to try the bushes first. And we'll gladly take the heart container. I think that might be all the overworld ones. It are, is it? But I think I've already found six in the overworld. Or is it five? No, I think there's one more in the overworld, actually. find. So that's later on. Alright, so here's some extra money if you want. I think that's 10 rupees. So I know there's, I think there's only one of those like one rupee quote unquote secrets. So you're not gonna get trolled again by another one rupee thing. Okay, this is a hint for getting level six. And that's and to the right, that's actually another maze area. Um, but that's really has no use right now. Yeah, you really need a sword upgrade. It's taking that long to take out these ghosts. I don't think there's anything on this screen, so just kind of skip it. Um, I'm not sure if the this trick works in this quest, but you know we could try it out. Oh, it does work. Okay. Might as well get a little more money there. Master using it. Yeah, you're gonna master how to use five rupees. Yeah, it's just five rupees. So if you want to call this another troll message, then feel free. I trolled right there. And you can see it's five rupees because it's, you know, blue rupee. <clears throat> No, it's not, not one. I don't think it's one rupee. But you're not going to be using that five rupees as a weapon. Okay, I think that was like 20 rupees there. And you're going to have to go through this bit of a maze. This screen, you gotta burn one of the bushes. So I pretty much had a almost at the opposite end, you know, lower right corner. And this is where you'll find level five. And this level is kind of a giant puzzle box. Uh, you'll see, this is a very weird level. It doesn't have a whole lot of logic to it. Alright, so take a break at this point, and next part we will start venturing into level 5. Alright, see you guys later.